Hello everyone, here we talk about the treat discount. It is a part of business mathematics. This is a typical supply chain. The treating happens between two parties in any part of this supply chain. The two parties are seller and the buyer. The treating price on any product can be negotiated between the two parties. The price listed by seller is called the list price. The price settled after negotiations is called the net price. The difference between list price and the net price is called the trade discount. Here let's have a look. See original list price as what it shows on the screen by the seller. After negotiation between seller and the buyer, the net price is settled at a lower level. So the difference, the orange part, that's what we call trade discount. We use L represent list price, capital N represents net price, and the capital D is the discount. So D come from L minus N. We can also look at from different way. We calculate how much percent the discount takes in the original list price. So that means use capital D divided by original list price L. So this is called rate of discount. We use lowercase d to represent. With this basic understanding about trade discount, and we have few different mathematical expression to show you the relationship between net price and the list price. Here we notice the bracket 1 minus D. It is also called net price factor. So we use the list price multiply net price factor give us net price. Or we use net price divide by net price factor give us the list price. So make sure we understand capital D is the discount described by dollar. Lowercase d is the discount described by percentage. Let's look at some example first. The 30% discount on the tennis racket amounts to $89.70. Calculate the list price and the net price. From this question, we have information $89.70. It is dollar described, trade discount. And we also have 30%. That is the rate of discount. So with these two pieces of information, and we can come out list the price directly. Use capital D divided by lowercase d. Give us $299.00. Is the list price. And then we do the subtraction, get net price, $209.30. Example 2. A manufacturer can cover its cost and make a reasonable profit if it sells an article for $63.70. At what price should the article be listed? so that a discount of 30% can be allowed. By reading this question, and we can come out with the information, $63.70 is the price being sold, so that is the net price. And we also clearly have the rate of discount, 30%. So in that case, we can find out list price from the Mathematical expression we mentioned earlier. We use net price divided by the net price factor, 1 minus D. Come out $91 as the list price. Sometimes we may experience serious discount. When a serious rate of discount is applied to a list price, the net price after a serious rate of discount can be calculated in the expression below, net price come from list price multiply a series net price factor. 
serious discount happened all the time. So when you go to a store, do shopping, you may experience the seasonal sale or special occasion sale, holiday sale. But at the same time, you may have the credit card or you have the membership. You are entitled to some other discount. So that's what the situation serious discount. When we have serious discount, that's how we figure out the net price from list price and the serious discount. The product of the serious discount is called the net price factor. We can put them all together, the multiply the product, that's net price factor. A single rate of discount can get the same amount of discount as a serious rate of discount. Obviously, we can imagine that. We can use the final discount by dollar, see how much discount get, and replace it by single rate of discount. So the relationship between the single rate of discount and a serious discount at the bottom of the screen, that's a single equivalent rate of discount. So the 1D, you get the discount, equals D1, D2, D3, until Dn, the series discount, how much you get? Same. Example 3. An item listed at $150 is subject to the discount series, 20%, 10%, 5%, determine the net price. We have the rate of series discount, and we also have the list price. So we can simply put them in the formula and get the calculation done. And we come out net price, $102.60. Example 4. A manufacturer sells cabinets to dealers at a list price of $2,100, less 40%, 10%, 5%. Determine the following. So here, $2,100 is the list price. And then this is the expression in the real situation we normally see. Say less 40%, 10%, 5%. That's what we call serious discount. That's how serious discount be expressed in the business situation. So we have list price. We have rate of serious discount. And we can calculate the net price right away. Well, we make it step by step. The question first part, ask net price factor. Okay, we calculate the net price factor. And then we calculate the net price. We can directly use the net price factor, multiply list price. Give us net price $1,077.30. Amount of discount, we can use original list price and the net price, the difference, give us $1,022.70. And then single equivalent rate of discount, and we can use the formula we mentioned, and have the calculation done. So we have 48.7%. That is single equivalent rate of discount. And you do have alternative way. Since the part three, we have the discount by dollar calculated. So if you use discount by dollar, $1,022.70 divided by $2,100 original list price, and you can get the same rate of discount as well. Example 5. Determine the amount of discount for a $1,000 list price subject to the discount series 40%, 12.5%, 8.3%, 2%. Determine the discount from the formula. We have list price, we have rate of series discounts, and we can calculate the net price. Or, and we can calculate the single equivalent rate of discount. Use the formula. And with this single equivalent rate of discount, we can directly calculate discount by dollar. So original list price 1000, multiply this single equivalent rate of discount, give us the discount $528.20. In this part, clearly, Understanding the information mentioned in the question is the most important part. If you understand the information properly, and then you can just simply apply them in the formula or just 
basic relationship, you can find out what the question looking for. See you next time.